Ha! I'm Nancy Golden and welcome to the House of Gifts. Today I'm going to talk about people who have existential gifts. Yes, existential gifts. Those with existential gifts are people who have an innate ability to understand really profound philosophical and spiritual concepts related to world religions and the complexity of human life and the world around us. While we may see the world as a microcosmic entity, the existentialist views the world as a massive canvas of interacting, interconnecting, and interrelated mechanisms working together. They see the big picture. They question those things which may be obvious to the naked eye. They question the truths that we hold fast to. They ask thought-provoking questions about life, about death, and what lies beyond the horizon. They think deeply, feel deeply, and understand conflicting theories deep. At times, existentialists are very social because they are sincerely interested in your view and opinion as to how this thing called life works. Now, some famous existentialists were and are one, Socrates, a classical Greek philosopher credited as one of the founders of Western philosophy. Two, W.E.B. Du Bois, the first African-American to earn a doctorate from Howard University and has been honored in the canon of African-American philosophy. Three, Dr. Wayne Dyer, an American self-help and motivational speaker. His first book, Your Erroneous Zones, is still one of the best-selling books of all time, with an estimated 35 million copies sold to date. And finally, Ayala Van Zant. She's an African-American inspirational speaker, lawyer, New Thought spiritual leader, author, life coach, and television personality. Now, people with existential gifts are your philosophers, theologians, life coaches, motivational speakers, and cosmetologists. Yes, cosmetologists. So the next time you frequent your barbershop or beauty salon, strike up a philosophical conversation with your stylist or barber. I bet you'll hear more from them than you paid for. <laughs> Until next time, I'm Nancy Golden, and this has been the House of Gifts.